Hello and welcome to Making IT Simple. Today in this video we are going to learn about simple structure, which is one of the structures of operating system. We know the importance of operating system in a computer. It helps the user interact with the hardware with ease. Without OS things can become very complex. So the OS must be well engineered and structured. So that it functions properly and efficiently. So the simple structure is one of the structures used to design an operating system, which we will see in depth. Watch my previous videos on OS, links are also present in description. So without wasting any time let's start the video. Simple structure was used to design some initial operating systems. The operating systems designed in the beginning were designed using this structure. MS-DOS is an example of such a system. It was designed to be implemented by only few people and designed to give more functionality in less space. So the structure was not well defined. But still the system got so much popular that this structure was used in many systems at that time. Following is the diagram for simple structure. Let us study and simplify the diagram. The diagram may look like layered structure, but it is a simple structure. At the top we have application program. These are the programs where users directly interact with them. For example if you want to write a document, Microsoft Word is the application program that you use, if you are using Windows OS. It provides the application to the end user. Second from top is resident system program. System programs are basically the bridge between user interface and system calls. Like for example file manipulation. When we create or delete a file, system program gives a system call. And after giving system call manipulation of system files are done, like creating file or deleting file, etc. There are many system programs, file manipulation is one of them. Third from top is MS-DOS device drivers. Device driver is a computer program that operates or controls a particular device attached to the computer. For example if you connect a card reader to the computer. How will an operating system or a user interact with it? We interact with software using user interface, but we cannot do the same with hardware. A device driver provides a software interface to hardware device, with this interface, OS, and user can interact with the hardware without any precise details about the hardware. Last one is ROM BIOS device drivers. This layer can be considered as the hardware. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. The drivers required for BIOS are stored on ROM, that is read-only memory, on motherboard. These are the basic drivers used to start the system. These all are the layers of the simple structure. Now let us see the connections, application program can communicate directly with resident system program, and the hardware, that is ROM BIOS device drivers. Resident system program can communicate directly with MS-DOS device drivers and hardware. And at last MS-DOS device drivers can communicate with the hardware. In here we can see a systematic approach, but also we see that each one can access the hardware directly, without any restrictions. Let us take an example, if you need to withdraw the cash from bank, then you visit the bank. Fill a withdrawal slip or a check, give it to the employee. He will then approve it and pass it to the cashier. Then the cashier will get the money from bank locker, and then give it to you. This is a systematic approach. What if everyone has access to bank locker? Anyone can directly access the bank locker without any restriction. This is definitely not a good option. Similarly if every application program has direct access to hardware, malicious or harmful program may take advantage of this. So this makes the system vulnerable. The time when this was designed the hardware was also not up to the mark, therefore the developers had no choice. Let us see the advantages and the disadvantages of simple structure. The advantage simple structure had was it would provide most functionality in the least space. It was not that complex in comparison with our modern operating system, but still it provided great functionality. 
that was the reason it got so popular. Talking about the disadvantages, the one which we discussed earlier. As application programs were able to access the hardware directly, it was vulnerable to malicious programs. Another disadvantage is if the application program stops or gets crashed, the whole system can get crashed. As the application program has direct access the hardware. So we are done with simple structure, we will see different structures of operating system in upcoming videos, hope you all understood the concept. Comment down below if you want a video on a particular topic related to operating system. Also if you have doubts queries or suggestions feel free to comment. If you find the video helpful like the video and share it with your friends who need to clear the concept. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for new video updates. See you in next video.